Good morning, Dre. Welcome. Hello, board. Should be pretty fun. Well, fun and terrible. I have no idea what the upcoming monthly challenges are, but I'm sure people are going to have fun sabotaging the run as much as possible. Hello, Andrew. Welcome. Oh, right, there is uh, one other thing I was going to do. So I set up, well, kind of disabled a Nightbot as far as getting it to over-moderate. So that should be good. All right, there we go. Hello, Psycho. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't be over-moderating people anymore because that was a little annoying. Didn't realize it was gonna be that bad. We'll just wait a little bit for people to uh, filter in. Then we'll start our next set of challenges. Don't know who saw the set run last night, but it was pretty satisfying, especially going up against Lissandra. Oh, uh, that felt pretty good. Yeah, being able to <laughs> deny the Barry Denice, ah, uh, so much fun. And obliterate their Lissandra. So good. Might do Vagar today for the video. We'll have to see. Yeah, the, the Gale Force wasn't quite synergizing with my build. I do still need to try Star Forged on set. I feel like it would work pretty well. Hey, Exhausted. Welcome. I feel like some of you probably have already gone through the monthlies and are trying to find and plan ahead on what is going to be the worst, the worst challenges to sabotage. Yeah, it was very cathartic after that Nico run. That run was a little disappointing. Hey, T-Zoom. Welcome. Let's start heading over for the monthly challenge. Might as well start reading through it. So 21, three stars up against Victor. So blinking flames, all spells and skills deal one extra damage. Pretty good for Annie Jin and Misfortune. And then survival of the fittest, round start, obliterate the foe's weakest unit. Grant it to grant double its stats to this foe's strongest. Always kind of a fun one to play around. Can't really screw you over if you don't take out enemy targets, but is a interesting one. So yeah, normally any misfortune or Jin. Hmm. 
So the Overwhelm is decent, but pretty much nothing's going to get that subtype. If you're getting ads, I think it should just be when you first hit the channel. Although if you're in an ad, you can't probably hear what I'm saying. Uh, could actually be interesting to go for Spirit of the Buru. Because with both of these, Misfortune... Actually, she's not going to be a one cost. She's going to be a zero cost. But cost one or less. So Misfortune would have Overwhelm, Quick Attack, and Fury. As well as her uh, little minions. Had like three 30 second ads. Yeah, it is sad the issues that they're having with Android. I'm glad you're able to get in. Would have been nice if they tried to give people something for the issues. Um, I don't think Long is here at the moment. Little sad. Alright, so I think this is what I'll try out for Misfortune. I think it should be pretty fun. You want to play down the line again? <laughs> Alright, Misfortune, Blinking Fames, Survival of the Fittest. I'll wait just a moment in case people want to sabotage this, but I know there's not as many people here at the moment. <laughs> All right. Oh, what do you want to change? Hello there. Welcome. No power? You mean powder? No packed powder? All right. So no packed powder, she'll still be a one cost, so we can still try Spirit of the Buru. Oh, hey Long, welcome. Jump was just asking for you. <laughs> scissors actually could be fun. We could do scissors with the monkeys. That could be a fun time. Hey, thank you for following. Alright, so this is what we are currently going with. Just in case anyone wants to change anything, but this is the build at the moment. Should be interesting with all the monkeys, and we'll try to attack and copy more monkeys. Should be pretty fun. Alright, here we go. That double attack jack looks pretty awesome. Yeah, let's... Let's go for that. That looks really good. Play, start a free attack, shadow totem. Shadow totem with scissors is pretty good. But free attack with double attack is also pretty nutty. And more power. It's a lot of good options. Hey, meme. Welcome. Thanks for the support. Glad you're able to uh, make it. I'd like to get Jack 
jacks down to a one cost so we could benefit from our spirit of the buru. Come on. No, doesn't want to do it. Sad. All right. Uh, let's... <laughs> we can go for Spirit Stone, get a little bit of removal. Yeah, it's fine. Not great, but... That's what happens when you use all your rerolls. Uh, Golden Aegis, Sherzies. I think we'll just go for the Health Potion, but all three of these are pretty solid. Alright, Victor. I am but the first of many. Alright, Health Potion. Let's get rid of this one. Uh, we'll actually hold on to the Make It Rain. Could be pretty good. With the blinking flames. And could also give us our blunder off for misfortune. What can I say? I'm an adaptable guy. Alright, we'll just pass. What do I do? What don't I do? <laughs> Alright, guess we'll just drop misfortune right here. Goodness, that is a very large, a very large unit. All right, so her attack is going to deal two. Fresh out of mercy. So I think we could go like this. Let's actually first use a health potion, see what we get for an epic item. Scout. I think we'll be able to kill this if we use uh, Make It Rain. Because she has five damage. She's going to deal two more with the attack. And then two more. So unless they buff this up, which they might, we should be able to kill it. Here for a taste of tomorrow. Interesting All right, perfect. <laughs> so with this modifier survive the fittest, we need to try to kill the enemy units as much as possible. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. Hmm. It's not really great. This isn't strong enough to kill them. We play a spell, grant me 1-1. One, one. So even if we use both of these to get to 4, they could just play their... Well, actually, they're out of mana. Let's try this. We can potentially kill their assembly bot. Okay, wonderful. Let's get some more units on the board that have Scout. Huh. Pro gamer move right there. Use two death rays on one unit. Nice. 
That was a fun little, fun little misfortune run. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. Oh boy, Viego. How fun. All right, so 22, Viego and Fiora. We have Mountain Peak, Game Start, the Foe summons a Targon's Peak. Round and all players draw one. And Raiding Party, when the Foe damages the player's Nexus, grant the top unit in the Foe's deck 1-1. One, one. Interesting. Do you get Stardust for Aesil Fragments if you have him maxed out? Yes. Yes, you do. Alright, so this is an interesting one. For me, Mountain Peak is kind of not really a power. It's too incon uh, inconsistent. All right, not sure. Pretty broad one. You can really use anyone. Yeah, these rules really aren't pushing me in any sort of direction. <laughs> Um, I guess we could just try a Varus for fun. Oh, I still don't have any epic slots for him. I was going to try the secret technique, but it's a little sad. Janna or Neela could be fine here. It's not necessarily really going in any direction. Like, plus one draws. It's kind of fine for everyone. <laughs> Interesting, Long. So you've picked relics before we necessarily have someone selected. <laughs> Him, Crown Guard. Sure, so I think we'll... Well... I want to use that secret technique. And Varus doesn't have it yet. So we could use it for Master Yi. Do I have a spot on Lee Sin? I really just need to go through and get spots on everyone. Oh, I do. Oh, right, our triple heart of gold build. How wonderful. I think let's try secret technique potentially here. I think this would be pretty funny to be able to play Lee Sin, be at six, have it go off twice with the Hymn of Valor. So that's what I'm currently thinking. When's the next Rune Terra open? I'm not sure, actually. All right, so Long doesn't want us to use the Hymn of Valor. Uh, we should probably just throw on some Overwhelm then. 
that way you can punch through and hit the nexus. I mean, you can still try to sabotage the builds. <laughs> yeah, so such conflicting. All right, so this is what I'm currently going to do unless people want to change it. All right, let's test this out. Yeah, they pretty much said that they're moving away from PvP. And so they didn't say they're never going to support it again, but that it's currently on like hibernation or something like that. Double attack Zed. LeBlanc. I really like Zed and double attack is so much fun. So yeah, let's go here. All right, bigger Zed. I mean, you're already gonna have Overwhelm. Yeah, looks good. I mean, the Grifter's deck, shuffle them in our deck, that's not really gonna help that much, but it's still a decent card for us. So two cost here. Uh, sure, we can grab this just for the epic item. All right, Fiora. I would cut down the opposition. Home turf landmarks are so much fun. Oh, right, Unworthy Soul. Kind of forgot that they got rid of that or changed it. I actually like the Grifter's deck on the Concussive Palm. Yeah, I think we'll hold on to this right here. Uh, I think we'll wait for them to try to attack. Don't test me. All right, nice. I do love being able to surprise the AI with Lee Sin's power. Difficult. So it's like we could just literally attack and do a ton of damage. Yeah, let's let's see how much we can do. So there's 21 damage right off the bat. Who does not know the name Laurent? I call upon the dragon. Master! I didn't want them to be able to play any blockers. Alright, immediately stun that. No, thank you. So that one's gonna get buffed. I uh, don't actually care about this one dying. Yeah, I kind of want to play Zed, so I think I'm just going to let this go through. Because we need mana. I am the blade in the darkness. I've been waiting for this. Perfect. So he is now the strongest. We have this massive Zed. Uh, we can bring her over here so she's just out of the way. 
GG. My skill is unrivaled. Well, that was fun. They will all learn to feel my order. Uh, yeah, let's just go for more Zed. And sure, let's see what we get for the spells chest. So this would go off twice. Grifter's deck isn't, isn't bad. Would like something really cheap, though. Eh, sure, let's get some more champion draw just in case. All right, Viego. No power in this world can stop me. See you, jump. Hope to see you soon. Or see you back. All right, Zed. Get rid of the scales. Hold on to all the rest. I really hope they add Zed as a uh, champion. He'd be so much fun to play. Sacrifice for a great I want some more blockers. You'll soon understand my How did that move go? This isn't part of the training. I guess if these die, they'll get the next round. How did that move go? This isn't part of the training. Sure. Oh, they got Viego. Also, we don't have double attack. Little sad. But at least we can get rid of Viego. Well, Lee Sin's power is... Or can be crazy strong. Like, being able to give a unit 8-8... Eight, eight, that can really swing this uh, the side of a match. Uh, we'll just let them die. It's fine. Take the high ground. The mist will have you. How did that move go? Do not disappoint me. Uh, we could buff that up. We'll actually wait to see what they do with their spells. They have a lot of mana. All right, so getting Lee Sin on the board will give us Overwhelm, which will be pretty big. Beware the dragon spit. We want to buff up our Zed as much as possible. Now, they might have some stuff to punish our Zed, but... This could be pretty your crazy. All right. Well, GG. Claim what is ours. Well, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Swain or Zoe could be pretty interesting. To be honest, I actually want more of the champions we already have than necessarily new champions. I just feel like we already have so many cool champions in the game that aren't in Path of Champions. Ah, oh, that was pretty nice. Very general rule set that you can really pick anyone into. That Zed was pretty fun. Speaking of Zed, 23... So, just up against Zed himself, Celestial Guidance, so Targon costs one less, and the Pilfered Provisions, so Warlord's Palace. 
going to be stealing our mana if they can complete it. So Yumi's technically Targon. So could be a time for her. It is Zed and three stars. So we probably want to pick someone pretty solid. Leona could be some decent ones. All right, Exhausted, who do you want to see for this one? Susan? I don't think there's any champion by that name. All right, so we have Nasus. Cycle of Shadows isn't bad. Uh, yeah, they did a teaser with some, like, emotes or emojis or whatever. Granted, I haven't played League in so long, so I don't really know the champions anymore that they were planning on using. Alright, I think this Nasus looks fine. So this is the build I'm going to go with unless people want to switch it around. Yeah, I don't think I even know what either of those are. Zeri or Lilia? Yeah, that was those were added to the game long after. Alright, so I'm gonna lock this in. And yeah, let's go see how this goes. See, I was normally either solo top or solo mid. So my two most played was Renekton top or Fizz mid. Pretty fun. That Caitlyn looks pretty good. Yeah, let's go for that Caitlyn. Fizz mid was pretty fun. My, like, highlight was able to stomp someone that was in the LCS. That was, that was a good time. Granted, it was from one of the, like, the bad teams in the LCS. It was, like, the worst in the, the league. But I was still able to beat them, which made me happy. So Fury could give us some more stats. Yeah, sure. We'll probably get one kill with the Stalker's Blade, so then that'll give us the same stats as the Phage. Kill all followers. Oh my word. Oh, uh, that's funny. Uh, we're gonna go for the siphoning strike. Alright, Zed. Yeah, League's lore is pretty interesting. Has a good universe. Uh, let's get rid of all of those, actually. Uh, sure. Let's just throw this out there, start getting some flash bombs. I kind of just got annoyed of always having to play against other people, or with other people for that matter. I like being able to play by myself and not needing to have a whole bunch of people. I mean, we should just be able to block and kill him. Yeah, all right. Oh. Thought that gave you plus two. Rip. That's the bad thing with the AI. It's like, sometimes you don't know if they're being dumb or if they're just... Or if they are being smart. Their bones will litter the desert! Coming at ya! Hey, look, three kills. Thank you. Uh, the new power... Oh, are you going to do it again? You are... You are the worst. 
Uh, well, we were going to use Siphoning Strike, but we won't anymore. News from the Undercity shift, Detective Zane. It's all in the report, Sheriff. Oh, how do I... Oh, my word. I'm a little out of it at the moment. Are they going to do it again? <laughs> I mean, how many times can they have that one spell? They've already used it twice. They don't shuffle it back or anything. You you got you gotta die this time, right? Okay, thank you. Uh the butcher craves blood. I walk. Nasus definitely feels a lot better. Hello, Reloaded. Yes, this is where people try to sabotage my runs. GG. The expanse of eternity stretched out before me. and fortitude outlast all things. Yeah, Nasus, his power is so much better now. Well, right now, I think people are just sa saving all their resources to really sabotage me at the higher difficulties. Oh, yay. That is one great thing about the weeklies, or the, the monthlies are good at clearing the weeklies. That was pretty fun. Surprisingly easy. Oh boy. 24, 4 stars, Jinx as well as Draven. So, Mortal Marks when any player summons unit sets health to 1. Vicious enemy and remove the imperfection when the foe summons unit. Recall one of the player's followers with less power than it. Well, I'm sure none of you want to choose anything for this one, so... I'll just... Alright, Dre, who do you want to see? Elder Dragon. Alright. At least remove the imperfection shouldn't hurt us too much then. And yeah, we'll just go with our... Normal build. I guess we could clear this out for that one. So I'm a little worried that he's going to get buffed up by Fury and killing everything, and then he's going to get reset down to one. Actually, you know what we could do? Well, we'll wait and see. Does anyone want to change this? So, we're maybe gonna run that, because we can drop Elder Dragon and do 20 damage. That could be pretty useful in this sort of situation. Board, what do you want to change?
turret plating helps, but the problem with turret plating is you need your champion to be on the board for turret plating to activate. So putting turret plate on Elder Dragon doesn't really help us. Like, I like turret plating, but... Since it's not a power, it kind of sucks. Like, if I was playing a one cost, that'd be fine. But let's... Yeah, so if this was a power, like they should change this to be a power. All right, do we want Gatebreaker or do we want to get him on the board a little earlier? Uh, I think we'll go for the extra stats. This hitting, giving like all of our units overwhelm and subtype, pretty good. All right, anyone else want to change anything or this is what we are going to use going forward? All right, here we go. Diego. So the <laughs> formidable would be useless, but the shield could actually be pretty helpful. Yeah, the 1-1 one -one might get negated, but just having the overwhelm for our big units would be still good. Then we'll go here just for shield of Durant. <laughs> Celestial Wonders could be pretty good. Buffing that up more. Deal three to the enemy Nexus. I think let's buy one more copy of that. Summoning a two cost champion. I think let's get some of these. Yeah, you know, regen's pretty much pointless. Perfect, this is what I was hoping for. Wonderful. Let's buy more of these then. Alright, looks good. The Citrus Courier would actually get cost reduced. Because it's a 6 cost. Yeah, we can grab one copy of it, that's fine. Man, we're gonna take so much damage. <laughs> Draven. Welcome to the League of Draven. Uh, let's hold on to most of these, actually. Galio being able to grant other units 3 health will be good, even though Galio himself is going to be pretty much useless. Their double attack Draven is going to be so annoying. Alright, they... Hmm. I yep, I figured they were going to play something else. Alright, let's drop this here for the Crest of Insight. Alright. I guess this is going to get recalled. Yep. Oof, that's rough. Uh, I don't think the tough will really help. Alright, give the deathless one. 
Oh, we got Deathless. Wonderful. Yeah, Strength of Stone would be actually terrible here. All right, we got some damage down. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's bad. Alright, so this has barrier. This can grant other units more stats, but... This will heal up our Nexus. Probably get recalled. Yeah, let's drop this here for the barrier at least. Heal your Nexus, not bad. Time for the money makers. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. Alright, so I think all of Elder Dragon's stats are going to get reset. Well, I guess most of the boons don't give you health anymore anyways. So yeah, attacking with him won't really do anything unless we're going to end the game. A single empire by but we could maybe just end the game because they also have really weak health pools. So our overwhelm is going to do a lot. This is going to hurt for you. All right. Now we're cooking. GG. Oh, I was a little worried there. Yeah, that was pretty close. Because if we didn't end that round, they probably would have won. Yeah, that turret plating was so helpful. Capture, brash. I think let's try Mysterious Portal, Cost Reduction. I mean, he can't block anyways, really. Yeah, let's actually go for the extra power. This could help us push through and do enough damage to end. And we're not going to be blocking with Elder Dragon anyways. Extra unit is decent, but yeah, I think we'll go for this. Oh my word, this is going to be a one cost. We haven't even used it yet, but it's so good. All right, Jinx. I like you. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of this and this. Hold on to the others. So this gives you a bunch of health or grants you health. Draws champions, buffs up your top deck, gives you Generation for bigger units. And we have nothing to play. And they play Jinx round one. Oh my word. Well, that went well. Still, nothing we can play. Ah, oh, this is going, going great. We didn't draw any of our cheap units. Oh, now, now you try to show up. It's a little late. 
Uh, let's go for the Deathless. Yeah, because it's... It is going to die. Well, we might just... Yeah, spend a lot of these. Revive the strongest dead ally. Sure. Alright, so we can kill their Jinx and actually survive. Awesome. All right, we'll drop an Elder Dragon next turn. This guy's going to get buffed up to an insane amount. Grant, they might just immediately kill Elder Dragon. I think we should actually try to get rid of some of their units because if they attack, we're going to have a bad time. I mean... Did not give us enough. Good thing we have Deathless. But now we're stunned. We were going to attack with him and try to kill their flame chompers. Well, so long for our turret plating. But at least they are now out of cards. And we have one solid unit on the board. Alright, this is fine. Ah, uh, they might immediately kill him, but he's gonna get Deathless again. A friend, I bid you welcome. Yeah, we could just attack, but they might immediately uh, kill him. So we're going to play this slow and smart. Rules are made to be broken. Like Billy, her people. There we go. That looks pretty good. Well, GG. That was like a little worrying there for a minute. If we didn't win when we did against uh, Draven, we would have lost the next attack. But still able to come away. We have a flawless run so far. Definitely a little worried with that being a four star. Uh. Alright, still able to come away with the win, though. Alright, 25, 2 stars up against Azir. So, price of progress, player spells cost 2 less. Units 1 more. And the enemy's units have quick attack. So, this one can be pretty good for, like, Master Yi. Well, for most people that play spells.
Let's see, who would we want to play? Could again always go for Varus. Yeah, that looks fine. Granted, we're not going to play him till five mana, which is a little rough. I really need to give him an epic slot. So don't really have any cost reduction. I guess we could go for uh, the Scourge of Stash. But this is probably fine. All right, so unless anyone wants to change anything, this is what I think I will uh, try here. Didn't they change his deck, actually? Maybe that's just Kane. Yeah, I think I'm confusing with Kane. All right, let's go ahead and go for it. <laughs> One cause volley bearer. That's funny. I guess it would be a two cost. Uh, so let's see. These are like all units and all of them gonna cost even more. I think playing with Volley Bear would just be funny. Yeah, let's actually go for the champion. All players summon three golden narwhals. Their units all are gonna have quick attack, so that's actually not gonna be great. Kill all damaged units. Yeah, still not really feeling it. <laughs> all spells cost six. Oof. I think I'm actually going to do this. Because we could just use it as a blocker. Because we're not going to have that many units. So, I think I'm just going to grab this for the fun of it. Power Riff. I mean, he's already going to be costing pretty much nothing. But that could give us some really good cost reduction for our Varus. So yeah, we can grab that. Alright, Azir. Your loyalty will be rewarded. Get rid of both of these, because they're going to... Well, this one's going to cost a lot. We might be able to play Varus round one. I think we just draw two cards, though. So yeah, he goes down to three. Oh, no. Awesome. Right, the game always freaks out whenever... <laughs> Whenever you try to do that. So this one isn't permanent. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just end right here. like not quite going to be able to trigger our level up 
but we can still just get an absolutely massive Varus. Aw, oh, don't do that. You're going to induce down our max stats. We could actually potentially rally. Hello, die. What's the best deck in the game? That sounds more like a PvP question, and I have no idea. There's a price to pay. GG. I haven't played PvP in this game in a very long time. Vengeance spawn on an arrowhead. And that was never ranked. I just don't prefer playing against other players. The older I get, the more I prefer just single-player games. <laughs> Alright, that went surprisingly well. We got some really good upgrades there. Able to just one-shot Barazir. Yeah, that was really good, actually. Alright, 26. I do need to get that guy some epic slots. We have forced workout. All units have striked all my power. Strike the set when the foe attacks. Stun the player's weakest unit. Sounds fun. So, two stars into Tom. So, we could always go for, like, a... Jax, Elise, or Diana here. Was a pretty fun Jax build, but not the type we would want for a one-shot build. Okay, so yeah, we can attack twice, rally, attack again. So this is currently what I'm going to do unless anyone wants to uh, change anything around, change what champion we're picking. But this is, yeah, current setup. Uh, so to get all the characters, I mean, you just need to play the game, pretty much. Do all the dailies and weeklies. That's the most important. You can rank up pretty fast. And then clear the monthly challenges when you get high enough. But yeah, the biggest thing is just consistently doing your daily quests, doing your weekly quests. do all of the challenges if you just start playing path of champions on the side over here there'll be a bunch of like quests for you to do it's called like the path or something like that if you just follow that you're gonna get a whole bunch of rewards i don't have them anymore because i've been playing the game since the beginning so they're all very much done I mean, we should have enough to OTK because every time we strike, we're getting double the power. Yeah, I play from both phone as well as PC myself. All right, board, what do you want to switch around? Loose cannons payload? Interesting. Hey, thank you for following. I think we'll throw that in there. That's going to be a little bit rough, but... 
hopefully just the gale force alone can carry us. <laughs> oh yeah, strategy games are the, the best. That's generally what I play. All right, current build, unless anyone needs or wants to change anything around. Yeah, Hearthstone is so pay to win. I played it for like half an hour and saw there's just constantly buy all the card packs and it was like, nope. Not for me. All right, let's go for it. I mean, Lucian's like always the right option. Yeah, I pretty much him and Zed are two that I almost always choose. Um, we need more power. Let's. Mandapod's is not bad. We just want like a pickaxe. Ah, oh, my word. All right, we'll just get the plus one from Brash. Draw a unit. I do like that discard, but I think let's just... Yeah, grab this here. All right, Tom Kench. It is my mouth into which all travels in. Oh, I don't even... I don't actually know anyone that played or plays Yu-Gi-Oh! I have no idea what that's like. Uh, this is fine. We start with the attack token, which is nice. Honoring Acacia by pounding bad guys. Let me change up my style. Weapon roulette. All right, so we won't be able to. White end the game. Bring it on. Yeah, we needed our needed our rally. Sad. Well, at least we now have removal. There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. Gather round. All right, but these are two costs. We can't actually quite kill anyone with them. <laughs> if LOR is chess, Yu-Gi-Oh is Call of Duty. Interesting. Well, we can't really play anything. Like, we can play some of these, but... That's not really gonna help us too much. I feel like we might just want to try to kill Tom Kench. Although he's going to have too much health. Well, with three of these, we could do nine. Yeah, he's going to have too much. Uh, let's... Get rid of some of these, at least. Oh, of, of course they stole that card. I can't, because I have to give an ally 1-1 one, one to summon the Poro. Oh, I don't require minions. Alright, we have Jax, that's not too bad. Suppose that makes you the guts, eh, big fella? So we're just gonna have to take this hit. A little luck for those who need it. The problem is I'm worried our Jax is gonna get swallowed by their Tom Kench. All right, so they are out of mana. So we're not going to be able to kill their Tom Kench, but we want him low enough that they can't immediately capture our Jax. 
Like, they're gonna have to try to heal him or something first. Appetizers of plenty. Got more scars than years, and got a lot of years. A feast of weights. Let me change up my style. All right, so we will attack like this. And sure, we can just let that go through. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. All right, game. <laughs> That was definitely a little bit more difficult. Mm, winning never gets old. Yeah, LOR is in a pretty good spot. Honestly, it's on the side where they it's under monetized. So people like want to support the game. They just don't have anything to buy. So they can even increase the monetization and still be in a healthy spot. Granted, they could always overdo it and just make it terrible. Yeah, at least Ken's payload was pretty rough there. Alright, so that was more difficult than it should have been, but still able to come away with the win. Alright, 27, 3 stars, Ezreal, Butcher's Block, so all units have Plunder, grant me 1-1, one, one, and Adorbus. Oof, that's rough. So, round start, silence the player's strongest unit, turn it into a 1-1 one, one Squirrel, and Ezreal will then immediately kill it. Ugh. Rough. Hello, Narvel. Welcome. Doing all right so far. All right, exhausted. Who do you want to see here? Annie. All right. That's fine. I think this would be fine into Ezreal. Although... Yep, still no defeat as of yet. Man, I am always blind. <laughs> I always scroll over whatever I'm looking for. All right, so I think this is potentially what we'll do unless, yep, someone wants to switch things around. All right, Reinhardt, what would you like to ban or pick? We need Rageblade. All righty. Very angry, angsty Annie. So, yep, I think this is what we'll go with unless anyone wants to change things further. I mean, I feel like Rageblade fits with Annie. I think it works. So, 
I mean, we want people to be able to play with the system. So yeah, the redeem is pretty cheap, but that's that's fine. All right, so I think this is what we'll go ahead and go with. All right, Yasuo, Nar, Talia. Don't really like any of these, to be honest. LeBlanc's not bad. Jace, Soraka. We could play her pretty early. LeBlanc would probably die, like, immediately to their... their Ezreal. Yeah, sure. Let's go for Soraka. Starspring could be fun for messing with them. Play her for pretty cheap. And Astral Protection could give us more champions. One one in Fury. Could go for a tanky Annie. Spirit Stone would actually be really good though. Yeah, we'll go for the Spirit Stone. So we're making a Guile every round. So getting Stormcalling on our Guile would actually be pretty funny. It would kind of clutter our hand, and the unit would probably just immediately get silenced every round. But I think it's funny, so I'm gonna grab it. All right, Ezreal. Quest accepted. Wait, where are we going? All right, let's get rid of a couple of these. All right, so we're going to play Annie and hope they kill her. What do I do? What don't I do? This way. Come on. Kill Annie. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, they don't have enough damage. Sad. All right, we'll grab our Soraka, I guess. Oh, hey, Fee. Welcome. I'm doing pretty well. Time for a true display of skill. All right, this will just eat his spell shield. I don't think you were in yesterday. Missed you. Uh, hmm. Sure, let's go for Grandfather. If you could back it up. Gotcha. All right, he is out of mana. Explosives primed. No one's the wiser. All right, so he's probably going to use his static shock to just kill two of our units, but let's go ahead and stun him and get some more sigils on the board. Uh, deal three to all enemies. Deal five, that sounds fun. Yep, there go our two units. Always seeking new horizons. We should swap stories sometime. Uh, hmm. Sure. Let's go ahead and try to kill their Ezreal. I wonder if they're going to use that static shock. It's Kythera, Annie. Oh. Well then. I mean... Okay. Oh, six or more new spells. Okay, so we need to switch things up for that one.
So since we don't have mana, we'll keep our Annie alive. So far, going pretty well. This being able to hit the entire enemy board is going to be pretty fun. Happy to do whatever's needed. All right, let's keep that from giving their other unit something useful. Savage Reckoner. Manifest a Titanic Follower. Sure, let's play this one for fun. We could have had them kill our own Annie, but I was like, eh. feel like let's hold off. They're probably going to attack. Ooh, Ledros. <laughs> all right so we could play this to wipe their board for the most part but like ledros is always the right answer he's gonna get transformed but uh the monthly challenges so far i haven't found to be too bad Granted, my perception is a little bit skewed since I have chat constantly trying to make things more difficult. I mean, Ezreal, or not Ezreal, Annie is one of my favorite champions, so... I almost always have fun when I play Annie. Sure, let's drop this. Well, let's first use a disintegrate on that. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Ah, huh, that's sad. He was gonna die. Oh well. Man, five health left. That's... I mean... We could just have them kill Annie, and then we would get the, uh, what we need to end the game. Yeah, let's actually just play this. I just want to kill their Ezreal. I've actually never seen that effect before. Let's go ahead and get some more sigils going. Yeah, Ezreal's normally not that hard, just annoying and frustrating. All right, so they have another true shot. Sure, let's they are nothing. just attack. They might be able to, like, stun us. That is very much a possibility. Take but we could just end the game. Nothing but a footnote. Yep, GG. My right. 
<laughs> they couldn't take the heat. Yeah, Ash is really annoying. She just slows down the game so much. She's frustrating to deal with. All right, not too bad. Challenge 28. So two stars up against Lulu. So there's going to be that Adorbus effect again. Bandle magic. The player summons a Bandle tree. And Noxian Entertainment, the foe, summons a Arena. All right, so this one can be actually decent for, like, Kane or Garen, because you can end up using this for your advantage. Can I see your relic on Tom Kench? Uh, so <laughs> there's a lot of different ways you can do for Tom Kench. Uh, this was a fun run, fun one, but not the best into like Lissandra because it's a little bit too slow. But Chosen of the Stars can be pretty good for him. Uh, you can also just go for like a Star Forged, and you could do Luminous Orb, but you could also do the Fist and then Flex here. He's actually. There's a lot of different ways you can build your Tom Kench. Man, people are going crazy with this one. All right, Dre, I might be helping you, but I want to see Kane again. I love that champion. All right. So you want Kane and Reinhardt wants triple Rage Blade. Happy to help. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can play your Tom Kench. This will be interesting. Yeah, the the Lulu is going to be pretty annoying. But let's go for it. It's going to be pretty hard for me not to draw Kane when he has the, the tutor system in there. So Thresh could play him round one. Two cost crumbles, not bad. But I think we'll go for the Akshan. Focusing on our champion is pretty solid against Adorbis. And hopefully we can just get him scaling up. Like, Thresh. Thresh does have Challenger, which would be pretty helpful. Uh, we'll actually try Thresh. If we could just give him equipment so he has some stats on him, we could, with that Challenger, really scale him up pretty quickly. Oh, look. Champion item chest. Perfect. Uh, sure. Quick attack's fun. We need something to also help his health to not die. Deathless is okay, but I think I'd... Yeah, let's go for just the extra stats. All right, Lulu. Pleased to meet you. All right, so... Goodbye, Kane. <laughs> this is now a Thresh run. <laughs> Alright, so pull out Thresh. Equip him. Of course, they don't play anything. I will die when I am ready. Okay, there we go. Perfect. 
All right, so round one, five, seven, Thresh. Perfect. All right, they play Lulu. Perfect. And this dying is just gonna help our Thresh level up, and then Thresh can pull out the cane. It'll be perfect. Uh, let's see. I guess we can try to play some other stuff as well. So this would help uh, this one survive next round. Yeah, it's fine. Not great. That barrier is annoying. I mean, we're still at four mana. We couldn't play Kane yet, anyways. We still would not have that ability. Yeah, we will... I guess we could crumble and kill their landmark. Uh, but I'm actually fine with their landmark. Alright, now Thresh leveling will pull out Kane. At least when we attack, that is. I'm a little bit worried about all of their mana. Okay, that's not too bad. So we're buffing this up to increase this one's power over here. I guess we could get some other equipment on the board. But let's just attack, pull out our cane. Oh, so there's their recall. I figured they had something like that in their deck. Well, we tried to play Kane. Oh, uh, this one's just gonna get silenced. Try to play Arcane. We have like no overwhelm. It's pretty bad. Alright, they don't have a lot of cards left. Grant allies 1-1, one, one, but we're not going to trigger that allegiance. Sure, let's try to build out our board. All right, so this is fine. Uh, Ioni has so many annoying spells. 
but this is gonna be a free kill for us. Oh no, never mind. They played something. Sad. Stop eating or no more walkies. Yeah, we're gonna be overcapped on cards. But we wanted that attack to go off to buff up our unit. Hey, thank you for following. Just got packed powder for my fifth Lissandra win. Uh, packed powder is really good. Uh, it's great on Jinx, great on Gnar. I like it on uh, Morgana. Yeah, there's a decent amount of people that it's pretty fun on. That should be GG. Took a little bit longer than normal. Normally we use something uh, to give everyone overwhelm. Yep, also it's good on Pike. It's another person I like it on. I'm actually surprised no one's made me play Pike yet. <laughs> yep, Misfortune's another one. There's a lot of fun builds you can do with it. Alright, so that one wasn't too bad. Thank you for following. I think I'm already down two runs of Manassas. Oh my word. Yeah, I'm on, I only have one run left. Anyways. So we have two stars, Caitlyn as well as Zoe. Crafty portals, each round the player's first Bandle City costs one less to play. And then Flash of Steel, round start, stun the player's strongest unit. So that is unfortunate. But Bandle City... That one's not too bad. Yeah, Nora would be decent here. All right, there we go. This is my go-to Nora uh, build. So this is what I would use unless anyone uh, decides to change things. But I think it's pretty fun. Yeah, you both got... <laughs> you both got the thing wrong. The name. Alright, how do you guys want to change this build? I find this is better than using Nora's Epic Relic. <laughs> Her, her relic's fine, but this is stronger in my opinion. Alright, Grave Digger and Riggle's Lantern. How fun. All right, and Z Drive. What a beautiful build. Let's go for it. All right, Leona, Nasus. Hmm. 
So we'll have a lot of the Bandle City covered. Yeah, sure. Let's just go here. That's fine. I mean, I think we still should be fine. Nora is ridiculously strong. Probably gonna get that dust up diplomacy. There we go. Beautiful. Group shot, so some more removal. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And I like that flame spitter. All right, not too bad. Zoe. I've actually been wanting to play Nora recently, so I'm not too concerned. I've been busy making content for other champions and I haven't been able to play Nora at all. Uh, sure, let's just get rid of that. All right, if you insist. Hey, look, free units. All right, so we got some awesome uh, impact here. Pretty big. Also, you guys gave us a build where Nora is always going to be the weakest unit, so she's never going to get stunned by the Flash of Steel. It's perfect. Hello, Phantom. Welcome. Grave Digger Spade on Nora actually isn't terrible. <laughs> That's actually funny. The extra draw does give you more portals. Enlightenment is worth the journey. Uh, well. At least we get rid of the spell shield. I guess we could have used this first. That probably would have been smart. Uh. I mean, tr yeah. Triple Rage Blade would have been fine as well. Nor is one of those champions that's super versatile, so... Pretty much whatever you put on them is fine. All right, they have Crescent Strike, so we're going to open attack. And that looks like game. With your busy schedule, do you still play offline on this account? Or on your other one? So, right now, I'm mostly just getting all my daily wins in. Because I have to play so much on this account uh shadow totem power riff oh my word we have seven rerolls <laughs> uh i mean her cost isn't that much i think getting two strikes off it's not gonna last long but it's whatever uh so normally when i'm playing offline i'm playing on my other account to try to level it up so I don't really have a lot of time on this account just to play for fun. So I've been wanting to play Nora for a while, but just haven't had the time. All right, I'm Caitlyn. Uh, let's get rid of that. And yeah, we can hold on to this right here. Uh, let's play this just for that epic item, actually. Oh no, the epic item's gonna hit the wrong. Oh no. 
Officer J.S. Hawklaw. Oh, I actually forgot that the other copy of Nora is going to be a created card. That's kind of funny. So we could actually give this impact and then it, let it give it to the next person, but I just want to put it on Nora. Nami and Jana, Jana are pretty good. They're a lot of fun. Hey, Epsis. Uh, yeah. After this month, I'll probably go back and relook at everything. As far as the pricing, I wanted it to be cheap enough that people could interact with the system regularly. So we'll... We will see. Hello! Anyone want to join my party? Hot on the trail. All right, bye bye, Caitlin. We have. I've thought about it. We'll see how this month works out. Uh, they only have one, so let's use this. Summon another unit, get another epic item. We'll just do your best, okay? I think I'm quite ready for a new adventure. Increasing the cost on later, later stages. That is possible. But at the same time, like, yeah, that'll be possibly. I'll think about it. There once was a yodel who found a portal home. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like I don't stream a huge amount of time every day. Like I stream every day, but not eight to ten hours. And so people right now have a big stockpile of channel points, at least the people that have been watching me for a while. But that's going to go down over time unless they like are subscribed or keep interacting a lot. Okay, someone really wanted really wanted me to play it for the last one. All right, so challenge 30, I need to play Pike. Sounds good, Captain. So we have Zed, Frenzied Fighting, and Embrace the Shadows. So sounds good. Let's go look at Pike. All right, this is my go-to Pike build. Seven fifty to twelve fifty seems recent for a champ request. Thanks for your uh, feedback. I'll definitely uh, consider that for the future. Because, yeah, that's the thing is everything is definitely not set in stone. No overwhelm. I guess you're meaning no beast within. That one there. I like the current system. I've never viewed a stream until Monday, and I've earned enough points to still interact and enjoy the stream. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Yeah, if it's too expensive, no one will... Like, I want people to actively be interacting with the system. I don't want it to be... Yeah, something that people can't interact with very often. Alright, so... One of you said no overwhelm. Long, use the other Overwhelm, not your actual pick. What's your actual pick, Long? <laughs> I'm barely hanging on to 1k points, even as a sub and a gifter. Yeah. Wicked Harvest.
I pick Luden's Tempest. Okay. So yeah, someone banned Beast Within, picked Wicked Harvest, picked Luden. So technically... Technically, we can uh, change this one around. All right, do I want to stick with Packed Powder or use something else? I guess if we're already dealing damage, then... Might as well go for Disciple of Shadows for some cost reduction, I guess. Yeah, with the Wicked Harvest, we're going to be killing our whole board. Especially with, I don't know if Luden's Tempest is going to increase the damage as well. That will be interesting. Alright, we will... Yeah, go like this unless anyone changes it. Alright, last challenge for today. Katarina, that is kind of useless, but her having Mariner's Ruse isn't bad. I guess Katarina capturing their Zed isn't terrible, even if it's just for like... a round just to keep him from attacking. Although Brittle Steel... might be good. I think their Zed normally doesn't have Phage, although it might at later difficulties. Yeah, sure. Let's go for a little bit of extra control. Don't really care about the Challenger, but I do like the extra copy. But pranking is really fun, so we'll go for that. Two cost and fleeing. Oh, that's tough. We'll risk it, but that might not be good. But it could be really fun as well, so we'll we'll try it. All right, said. Well. All right, so we have our pike. Let's get rid of all of these. And we'll actually get rid of pike. We don't necessarily want him in our opening hand. Yeah, playing this, we'll get one unit on the board. But yeah, we won't have... We don't have enough to play our pike, sadly. Well, rip. Oh, no, he does have phage now. Maybe it's just the earlier challenges he doesn't. Do not disappoint me. Well, goodbye, Pike. You'll be missed. Silent as death. They'll never see me coming. I right, will wait for them to attack. 
Frostbite at least one of them. Did not get lucky with an elusive. I'm actually going to like Pike a lot. I think he's a lot of fun. I really enjoy him. Especially when you start getting to the point where you get a bunch of epic relics and stuff. Uh, let's just say no to that. When you start getting epic relics and a lot of that sort of stuff, he can really be very strong. You cannot escape. Never managed to reach the max points. Sad. I think someone just followed while I was focused over here, so thank you. Hello, Mark. Mm, yeah, let's go with Mark. <laughs> you always lose one game. That's that's sad. I've been flawless for like three or four months, but I think that's probably going to come to an end this month. They cannot hide. Uh, yeah, let's increase that cost. All right, we'll just be able to attack and end next round. Sadly, we did not play our pike. Although I didn't expect all those to die. <laughs> Oof. Uh, so the stream is at 9 a.m. Eastern every single day. Well, every weekday, Monday through Friday at the moment. Uh, yeah, who needs flawless when you have content? Exactly. I, that's the thing is like I've gone flawless for the past like three or four months, but I don't really care about flawless. So, Epsis, I don't really care about what I'm um, really playing in the monthlies. If people were to choose every single champion for every single challenge, I would be fine for that. That's why I have the price a bit lower. Thank you for subscribing, Izzy. I appreciate that. And su subscribing for two months. Nice. Or on a two month streak. That's awesome. I appreciate the prime. Thank you for following. Yeah, for the challenges here, I don't really I don't really care about what I'm I'm picking. So for people to interact for every single challenge, I am totally okay for that. Which is why all the prices look pretty low. All right, pretty good. Still a flawless run so far. I'm sure that will not be the case, especially in the later challenges. Because, yeah, well, 30 and especially 40 and higher, it normally gets pretty, pretty rough. Uh, glad that, yeah, Nightbot is behaving and there's not any problems. Uh, so all of the VODs, if you didn't see any part of the stream, the VODs are uploaded onto that YouTube channel right there the day after. Uh, so that is where you can go and uh, check it out if you want. But it's been, been fun uh, hanging out with all of you. We'll be back here tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern. We're going to be doing this every single day until we complete the challenges. So often I don't stream on the weekend, but for the monthlies, we just go every day until we are uh, done. But great hanging out with you all. Hope you all have a great day and hope to see you tomorrow.